Good morning, Feel Great Cafe listeners. This is Steve from Feel Great Coaching, and I feel great. And I'm here to help you feel great, too. This radio show is called the Feel Great Cafe because I want it to be a radio show that is in a relaxed environment where you can kick back, grab a cup of coffee, listen, learn, and hopefully even participate in the process of helping you feel great. And as in all great cafes, you have more than one option on the menu. The options in our menu are motivation, positive thinking, wellness, and the law of attraction. The special for today is positive mindset. If you have any questions about the topic today, please feel free to call in at area code 347-324-3022. Or if you're shy and you don't want to be on the airways but you still have a question, you can send me a question via the chat link on the page. My special guest today is Rachman Beckwith. Since birth, Rachman has been exposed to spirituality, meditation, and prayer. She was given the name Rachman, which is a name of God, meaning compassionate. Pursuing an exceptional path, Rachman graduated from Princeton University with a degree in molecular biology. After graduation, she decided to devote herself fully to meditation and prayer for several years. During this time, she also learned about holistic healing arts from all over the world. Returning to society, she acquired certifications in psychotherapy, energy healing, and body work in order to bring her intuitive healing to the community. She now specializes in individualized, integrative body, integrative body, mind and spirit therapy sessions by phone or in person. It was Rachman's clients that inspired her to create her first e-course, the Develop Your Spiritual Spiritual Abilities e-course, and then her e-book, You Are God, a handbook to the divine in each of us. Rachman found that regardless of the problems that her clients have, remembering the divine inside of themselves was the ultimate remedy. Welcome to the cafe, Rachman. Thank you, Steve. Well, that is quite an extensive background there. You have been uh, (laughs) all over. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Learned a lot. You've learned a lot. That's great. And and the beautiful thing is that you're sharing it with many many people out there. Yes, I really enjoy it. Awesome. Awesome. Well, let's get into this book here. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the book and share with our audience a little bit about what what the book is about and what inspired you to write it? Sure. Um, well, as you mentioned, um, it's really my clients that helped me to put something like this together. Um, A lot of times uh, a client would come in with either a physical uh, or an emotional issue, and the answer seemed to always be the same. There was this panacea that we discovered that remembering that they had this divine power in them, their higher self, if you will, or the light of God, that was the thing that allowed them to release whatever the obstruction was. So really the book is about that. It has a lot of examples of um, different people's issues, whether they be, you know, problems with coworkers or problems with relationships. And the the solutions that we came to about how you can um, align with your God qualities and your God energy and your your own true power and then uh, really surmount those difficulties. Now, do uh – is the book like part of the process of the work you do with your clients? Is it like a, a supplemental piece, or is this something that's totally self-standing? Well, it's completely self-standing in that you could read it and get, as some clients say, it's almost as if you're getting a healing session by listening or reading to the book because that energy comes through to you and you're able to process it. But originally, my clients would say during the healing sessions, oh, can you please uh, write this down, what you just told me, and email me this part later? Or, or can, you, uh, can you record yourself, you know, saying these things to me so I can meditate uh, to this? So I sort of took all of those prompts and just put everything into one uh, consolidated form that, you know, anyone can use. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, that, I mean, that, that's great that you've been taking your experiences over the years and things that have been working with the clients. Obviously, that's why they want you to write it down for them, mm-hmm. and you've put it in book format, and you've made it available to um, the public. Mm-hmm. Now, do you have any examples of something from within the book that you could share with us? Uh, sure. 
So there are, you know, basically I would take the day-to-day problems that people would have when they saw me. Um, so I can I can read a little excerpt. Um, so number two says, you found out that a coworker received a project that you wanted. You think that this limits your earning potential. So this is a problem that a client mm-hmm. came in with, and it's something right. we can all identify with. So the answer was, then you remember that this is a fallacy. It's an illusion. Why? Because you are God. You have infinite earning potential. You can attract as much abundance into your experience as you want. There will always be wealthy people, and if you choose, you can be one of them. Why? Because there is no longer a question of whether you are deserving or whether you need to bend over backwards to make it happen or any of those old limiting human thoughts. As a god or a goddess, you are the source of abundance. So decide what you want and watch it happen. Wow. Okay. Now, for uh, we really that, that is that is powerful. <laughs> and um, now Thank you me. and I we go we go back for I guess about a year year and a half now we've known mm-hmm. each other. And mm-hmm. um, we we get together on like on a monthly basis. We have this law of attraction group, and we talk about the spirituality side of that and how um, mm-hmm. you know, we are a guide as a part of us and stuff like this. But for the listeners out there who um, aren't familiar with this and may be finding this a little bit difficult to to <laughs> can you can you explain to them what you mean about how how we are God or how we you know how they can grasp that concept. Sure, absolutely. And earlier in the book, I do speak a little bit about that. But generally, what I'm doing is using that term God loosely to encompass all of the goodness that is in the universe. So essentially, what I'm saying is that you are all of the good things that you can imagine, plus some. You, your patience, and you are love, and you are wisdom embodied. Um, in some Eastern religions, God is described as having 99 attributes which range from compassionate to forgiving. And when God is looked at in this way as being um, that that encompassing of many good qualities, that energy, I think it's easy to realize that you contain that same potential within yourself, that as humans we are capable of incredible feats of goodness and grace and power, but we do not always remember our source. So we forget our potentialities. We can't tap into them. We simply aren't aware of them, and this book is meant to help us to regain the power of those good qualities within ourselves and to remember. Okay. Now, that that is powerful stuff, and um, <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you shared that you explained it in a, in a great way because um, you know, you. there are some people out there that could, could be a little hesitant about what, you know, just sure. by saying you, you are God, but that, that's sure. a great explanation. Thank and, you. Um, yeah, and, and it's it, it resonates well with me. Hopefully it resonates with the listeners. And <laughs> anybody out there that wants to call and has any questions about this, please feel free to call in, area code 347-324-3022. And when you get on the line, if you just press uh, button 1, um, your hand will raise, and I'll be able to put you on the airwaves, and you can start talk with uh, our guest here, Rachman Beckwith. Um, so with the book, let me ask you this. What, what is it that you hope that your readers will take away most from this book? Well, I really hope that they will get a sense of how to deal with these these regular daily issues that are in their lives in a more functional way. I, I hope that the next time that they are faced with a challenge, that they will look into themselves and say, what godlike quality do I possess that can easily surmount these challenges? And then in acting with that quality, that they choose, they will feel that universal power supporting them as they surmount this challenge with this newfound strength that they have. And I have an example of um, that. That um, I think it's in my book. But basically, um, there was one incident when a friend and I were at you know a spiritual meeting, and the meeting next door was of um, sort of paranormal activities, mm-hmm. which they felt a little heavy, like the energy was a little heavy. And one fellow from the group came over to talk to my friend and I, and I could just kind of start to feel just kind of like a heaviness, and I guess it was just the energy was kind of um, intense. But um, I I tuned into myself, and as you've said, my name means compassion or compassionate. So I tuned in and I said, I am supposed to be compassion, you know, embodied. And this, 
this person came over, you know, no idea of anything. They were just seeking approval and, you know, seeking attention, and they just wanted to be heard and, and appreciated. But I said, as a compassionate being, I need to just radiate that that energy, that loving, you know, approving energy, that kindness. And instead of focusing on feeling like, oh, I'm feeling claustrophobic or this energy is bothering me, I focused on that, just being the love that, that I'm embodying, and right away I could I could feel the shift. I didn't feel like I needed to, you know, excuse myself from the conversation anymore. I just could be compassion, and that that the strength that came from that was so powerful, and it was just a loving experience to really be able to do that. So that's the kind of um, instance when you can make that mental choice to take on one of the qualities. And like I said, there are, in my book there are a list of about a hundred attributes. And, and we know them all, you know, being wise or patient or generous or kind. But to consciously decide to take on these qualities on a regular basis is a really powerful decision. So that's what I hope my readers will um, be able to get. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot. It, how, how how big is the book? Is it? Um, it's an e-book, right? Right. That's correct. Okay. It's not that long. Um, it's it's more. Uh, sort of like a very potent content. It's, it has um, a good number of those examples that I that I read earlier. That um, they're probably about half a page long each, and um, it's hard to say as an ebook. It's you know it's on the internet listed right. as pages. I'm looking to print it perhaps in the future, and it would be sort of a small book that you could carry around with you mm-hmm. because I really like that. I have little um, angel books and things that you can just keep in your pocket and flip through and get a positive message whenever yeah. you need it. Yeah, so that's, that's what I was getting with. Mm-hmm. It sounds like it's something that if you just took with you, you put it in your, you know, your suitcase, mm-hmm. your briefcase, whatever you had that you take along, that you needed a, um, you know, a spiritual uplifting moment or something that sure. gets you, you know, if you're in a situation and it's like, you know what, I need to, um, you know, sh- shift my, my, my feelings and vibrations, then, um, mm-hmm. You could just take the book out and 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 take a look at one of the passages, et cetera. Um, we have a question mm-hmm. here. Someone who might have tuned in late said, "Yes, the name of the book." So I'll repeat that question. Uh, the, the name of the book it is called "You Are God: A Handbook to the Divine in Each of Us." Okay. And mm-hmm. um, now, how can they? How can people get this book? How can they get the, a copy of the book? Well. Um you can order it in either the audio format, which is MP3s that you click oh, really? put and listen. Yes, actually, um, upon that request, as I said, my clients really like hearing um, my voice is very conducive to meditation and to calming. So I did record it as an audio book. And that, um, if you email me at Rahman Heels, R-A-H-M-A-N, Heels, H-E-A-L-S, at gmail.com, I can send you either the audio, the, excuse me, the audio or the written version or both. And they are each a $50 donation, but if you want both combined, you can get it at a discount of 85 And um, like I said, the written version is good for people who like to be able to see things and to um, just visually um, to intake that. And audio is good for meditation or people who are on the go and want to just have a little bit in our iPod. Also, if you're interested in pre-ordering a um, a pamphlet, you know, or a small a small book version, mm-hmm. you can you can let me know and um, through through that email address. Um, you can also read an excerpt of the book, and I can give you the website for that is www.squidu s q u i d o o dot com slash u r god dash Divine Handbook, okay. and you can stay, you know, up to date on on the book right. through that. Is there, is there a way to access that from your website? Yes, and my website is www.intuitive-healing.massagetherapy.com, and there is information and I believe also an excerpt from the book on the site, and my email address is listed there, along with some other products like that e-course we uh, discussed earlier, which is great for developing your spiritual abilities through meditation and through sort of um, just learning about your own uh, capacities. Um, 
Mm-hmm. Excellent. Well, we actually do have someone on the line that would like to speak to you. Let me click on them and get them going here. Sure. The caller from the 717 area code. You're on the line with Rachman Beckwith. Hello. Thank you. I had a question about the different topics. Sure. That will be covered in this book. If you could please share. This is Michael from Michael. Uh, Pennsylvania. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Hi, Michael. Um, of course, the different topics basically um, include sections. The first is the note to the reader, which you can read as an excerpt on the sites that I mentioned, and that is sort of a personal note about why I was inspired to write this book. And, you know, aside from what we mentioned before about my clients and also my spiritual upbringing, I was very lucky to have parents who, um, you know, meditated and prayed. So that was the first section. The second is, um, it says, you are God, how you know this is true. And it's just sort of for those of us who need to have cognitive understanding um, of, of why this is true and drawing on traditions, different spiritual traditions from Quakerism to Eastern traditions to biblical verses, just sort of a little affirmation that this is the truth and that you can trust this. And the next section is um, called You Are God, What This Means for You. And it includes a lot of affirmations um, on different topics such as health or beauty or love or wealth. And they are very simple ones um, such as uh, for love. It says, I am love. The source of love is inside of me. Since I am love, I am able to attract love easily. I am grateful for all of the forms of love that I recognize in my life now. So that that continues with peace and strength and youth and those types of things. And there's a space for you to create your own affirmations. In the ne- the next section is called How to Remember and it includes the example that I read earlier, and this is these daily uh, circumstances that we have from feeling lost about your life's purpose, being afraid of growing old or dying, having difficulty with family members, uh, feeling overwhelmed, having a medical diagnosis that's serious. If somebody you know is causing difficulty in your life, how you deal with that. Um, if you are afraid that you've done something really bad in your life or if you are afraid for your children or if, you know, if you have misfortune. There are just so many different examples. Um, if you want to help someone to heal, if you feel separate from someone, if you feel separate from God. Um, so these are some of the many um, examples that people often deal with and how you can deal with them in a higher way. That's really, it's it's incredible how these, these you know, half-page answers can just relieve all of the tension yeah. Surrounding this issue, I mean, you just feel it lifting off of you because this higher truth is is coming through, and it resonates with your soul. So it's really it's incredible. I have people just start break down crying when they hear this because it's like someone is talking right to the essence of them and to their soul, and they know it, and they they don't often get recognized in, on that level. Yeah. So um, then we're almost done um, with with this. Uh, we get to the next section. And it is activities that encourage remembrance. And um, you'd be surprised at how many simple things um, from even watching those TV shows that, that take your mind to a higher level that involve um, some sort of metaphysical or um, people who have, like, greater capacities, for example, to heal or to, to um, you know, have telepathy, use their minds to do more than we are aware of. Because we all have these powers, but we're not tuning into them. And these are the God-given powers that are within all of us so Mm -hmm. there are more activities and then we get to a list of those names that i spoke of those names of god like the um the self-sufficient the peace the blessing the almighty the powerful the forgiving and just to meditate on this section and to really feel that these qualities are a part of you and to be able to tap into them the all seeing the all hearing It's, it's like we have so much that we have inside of our own um, being that we aren't using. Um, So we go through the names, and then basically there is um, some information about me, the author, and some other projects that I'm working on, and um, that's that's it. That that sounds like an amazing, amazing book that you've put together there that can be so helpful for the people out there, especially in these times. 
um, you know, sure. um, not just with the, the way the economy is, just with the way that people's lives are these days with the amount okay. of stress and overload mm-hmm. and, you know, mm-hmm. information overload and too many things sure. going on at once. And, you know, now we've mm-hmm. got the school semester starting or, you know, school year starting mm-hmm. up in a couple of weeks. And, you know, just to be able to take a moment for yourself. And, and is there something you could you could just uh, I'm assuming, but I'll just ask it to you that you could just read you know bits and pieces at a time just for like an inspirational uplift or um, mm-hmm. you know just you know you don't have to sit down and read it in, in a week to get the benefits of it. You can just read parts of it and just feel great. Absolutely. Then, yeah. Mm-hmm. So just, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was well, say, it's just, just an awesome book for people that you know just don't you know may not have a lot of time to sit down and read, but you mm-hmm. can. Get, Take you know, take ten minutes, read a passage, a piece, you know, a chapter, mm-hmm. and take something great away from it, and then come back to it, you know, like a week later, a couple of days later, and when you get another free ten minutes. Absolutely, that's uh, one thing that I was going to say. I generally um, I like to read books uh, by sort of flipping to a passage that uh, might inspire me that day. So I'll have you know, angel inspirations or. Um, or just any spiritual book, and often it's incredible if you hold an issue in your mind or if you have something that's heavy on your heart and you go to a spiritual book and you open it, you may find exactly the passage that sort of lifts that weight from you. And this book is meant to be that in in a very um, specific way. And I feel like most of the issues that we deal with could be extrapolated from, you know, the book. So if you have whatever it is you're dealing with and you look just at a paragraph, you might find – peace for that day. So, yes, you're completely correct in that. Wow, great, great. All right, mm-hmm. um, is there going to be a, a, a sequel to this book? Is it are you well, feeling inspired to write more? <laughs> I do see in my future that I will be writing more. Mm-hmm. Um, right now, I basically, um, I've written something for your uh, listeners today, which is a yeah. sign that you have spiritual abilities pamphlet and um, how you can develop those abilities. So that's just sort of an introduction for people to start tapping into their um, capacities that they aren't even really recognizing or acknowledging, but that they have. Um, As far as books, I'm sure I will be writing, and I may even be adding to um, this book. So if you have uh, something that you feel wasn't addressed, an issue that was in the book, and you email it to me at rahmanheels, at gmail.com, and it's something that can help everyone because we all have the same issues. So if you email that to me, I will um, meditate on that and try to come up with an answer and then perhaps even include that in the book since it's still an ebook form. It can be updated. Um, right. Like I said, there's an audio version, so that's not a sequel, but it's another form. And um, I am working on some other things in general. I'm, I'm working on creating a spiritual retreat where people can spend several days, you know, immersed in this type of teaching and eating holistic food and meditating and having body work and having discussion groups and healing groups. And this is really exciting, and I'm hoping to start them across the country. But right now we have one um, that's just nearly set up in New Jersey, near the um, Atlantic City beaches, Margate beaches, down in the southern part. So that that should be something to keep your eyes open for in the future. Um, And Go ahead. Let me ask a question. With regard to that, is, can people go individually, or do they have to like get a group of people together to go down? And either or. You can calm yeah. yourself and meet other people because that's the place where these kinds of wonderful meetings can happen, or you can bring a group of your friends. Um, so either. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, well, we just have a, a few minutes left before I have to wrap up the show. Is there anything else you would like to um, share with the listeners, how um, you know maybe how they can where, where you're located if they want to see you physically, they get part of your um, treatment, your therapy, you know. Of course. So right now I am practicing out of right outside of Philadelphia, um, in Marion Station on the Main Line area, um, and I do sessions one on one with clients. Um, you can visit my website www.intuitive-healing.massagetherapy.com. Um, to see the different services I offer. Um, They range from uh, the energy work and body work to uh, essential oil therapy to verbal healing such as hypnosis or regression, Um, and and there's more. And so 
I would definitely encourage you. And if you're too far away, I do phone sessions that are equally as powerful. I have clients out of state who will call occasionally, and we will schedule a healing, and they can feel the energy um, coming to them and their body responding and relaxing and healing from a distance. So that's pretty incredible. Um, and I do oracle card reading where you just sort of ask the angels, um, you know, what it what it is that's weighing on you. And the angels can often give you a message that's very pointed to the specific issue. And um, you asked what my uh, what I want to say to the listeners, and I just want to say to them that I love all of them. I really love them. They are divine beings. They are light, and they are such beautiful, beautiful energies. Their souls are are brilliant, and when they can uncover those qualities, they will just shine so brilliantly. So I am honored to have been able to share with them today all of this. Well, we I really appreciate this very inspirational uh, information that you've shared with the listeners here. Um, I, I really appreciate it. I really, truly want to uh, thank you for being on the show. Thank and, you. Oh, you're welcome. And um, <laughs> Yes, and um, I will, for those, you know, who aren't able to write things down quickly, I will put on the uh, archive of the show under the comments. I'm going to list your your email address, if that's okay, and your sure. website where they can they can go to. This way they have um, the information right there. They, if they just go back to the blog, blog talk radio slash Coach Steve and find this show under the comments section, I'll, I'll list your email and your website address there so people can get there. That's so, great. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Thank you again. Um, no I, that, problem. That is it for the show, everybody. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly, certainly have. And I'd like, again, to thank Rafon for being a guest on my show. And for those of you interested in more information on this topic, like we said, go to her website at www.intuitive-healing.massagetherapy.com. And as Rafon said, there she has put together a free pamphlet on the 13 signs you have spiritual abilities and how to develop them. And this will go to the first 30 people that email Rachman at rachmanheals at gmail.com. And again, I'll put that on the website. And mention that you listen to her on the Feel Great Cafe show, and she will send you uh, that pamphlet. Next week, I have another special guest Kathy Groover, and we will be discussing the mind-body connection. I'd like to end with this thought by Dennis Waitley. He said, happiness cannot be traveled to, owned, earned, worn, or consumed. Happiness is a spiritual experience of living every minute with love, grace, and gratitude. This is Coach Steve from Feel Great Coaching saying, remember, 2009, your year to shine. Until the next show, make it a great day.